Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So the New Orleans Pelicans are in a very uh, awkward situation as right now. As we all know, um, we all know the drama going on with Anthony Davis. And it was just reported recently that Dell Demps, their GM, was fired from the team. So essentially, this guy, like, did such a poor job negotiating in the trade deadline. Had an awesome trade, actually, with the Lakers. And just, like, failed to do anything with that. Um, and now he's just off the team. So... Not only that, but Anthony Davis is now injured. Yes, guys, he's injured, apparently. Um, so for today's video, we are going to try to help the uh, New Orleans Pelicans the best to my my ability, our abilities out here. Um, now, before I get started on this video, if you guys do me a quick favor and please drop a like on this video. Man, I want to get a rebuild to 1,000 likes. It's been a quick minute since the rebuild got to 1,000 likes. If you guys can please do that, would be greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, so I guess let me make my bitch ass self a little smaller here. Uh, what is the mindset of this video? Well, as right now, uh, Anthony Davis does have his shoulder injury. I don't know how long he's actually out for. Um, my guess is that there's some fakeness to it. There's got to be some fakeness to it because there's just no, there's just no like incentive for Anthony Davis to be playing right now on this particular team. Um, so I am going to show him down for the rest of the season. I'm going to say it was a hyper extended left shoulder injury. He's out for the next two to four months. It just makes sense for both sides out there to keep the man healthy. Um, and could we all know what he's capable of when he's completely healthy. He's, I mean, the best big guy in the entire NBA. So, yeah, we're going to do that. As far as the rest of the team goes, I mean, we got Drew Holiday out there, Julius Randle, Julius Okafor, who's actually been a really nice NBA player for them now. Um, as of late, he's been, like, killing it this NBA season. Uh, averaging, well, I mean, eight points per game, five rebounds. Not exactly killing it, but he's had some nice stretches for the uh, Pelicans out here. So, I'm actually very happy about that. Oh, my God. You never escape my videos, do you, man? You're just always around somewhere. No. Uh, but seriously, like, this team is in a very bad situation. So, Anthony Davis also just recently said that um, all 30 or all other 29 teams are on his list for teams he'd like to get traded to. He would just like to go to a contender and play some winning basketball. So, we're going to keep that in mind as we make a trade in this video at some point. Um, but, yeah, this season, it, it's a wash, guys. There's not too much else going on with it. So, we are simply going to simulate the rest of this one. Um, there's just nothing good that can come out of it. So, let's simulate this rest of this 28 to 2019 season and hopefully do really bad and hopefully uh get ourselves a top draft pick okay so a record of 32 and 49 uh quite the losing streak to end the season one more game on my birthday april 9th guys april 9th is in fact my birthday uh simulate through date right here and finish another l on the season is absolutely perfect 50 and 32 literally successful nba teams want like that complete opposite record like you want to be like in that 50 win, uh, win range but no, the Pelicans here, just uh, not really a good situation. So, there's all the awards. You're not going to see any Pelicans on here at all. Um, but, yeah, so we are clearly not in the playoffs. But, let's go to the player, uh, player uh, stats real quick here. Just because, you might as well see, like, who performed well out there. Somebody that maybe can be a part of the future. So, uh, we got Drew Holiday. As of right now, age 28. Probably going to turn 29 in the offseason. Uh, 21 points, 8 assists. Those are still top point guard numbers in the NBA. So, he's nice. Julius Randle. I heard he was already on the trade block, so it sounds like he's probably not coming back to the team. But maybe he would if the money was right and the opportunity was there. But it sounds like there's a lot of players that simply do not want to be part of this franchise right now. So I think the first thing we're going to need to do before we do anything is uh, trade away Anthony Davis. Just because when you when you make a big trade, if you, if you get a superstar out of it or some all-stars or some good young role players, then the rest of the guys um, going into free agency see what your roster has exactly. Um, so they know exactly what they're getting themselves into. Like, no free agent is going to sign with this team until Anthony Davis is officially traded because it's just too much of an unknown factor. What if you sign like a, like a Tyreek Evans and it's like, okay, Tyreek, you're gonna you're gonna start on our team right here, and then all of a sudden you trade Anthony Davis for a Bradley Beal, and now Tyreek's on the bench. Like, that's just kind of a one little example right there. But you know what I'm saying, man. Okay, so Warriors beat the Raptors. We don't care about that. Okay. So first thing, let's go to the staff signing and make sure our head coach is the head coach for this team. Um, Elvin Gentry, uh, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, you got to go, dude. We, we, we got a clean house, man. Assistant GM, you know, I don't care much about you as far as rebuild to go. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Benjamin Walker, BAA minus. You know, I like those. We got uh, Barney Woe. I do like Barney the Dinosaur. Not anymore, but as a child, I did. Uh, we also got Melvin Hunt. I like the A-minus potential. You know what, man? I'm going to give Melvin Hunt a, a chance here at success and see if he is the man for this team. So, he's thinking about it. Don't think too long, man. Okay, we signed him up, so that's fine. All right, NBA draft time. I have no idea what pick we're actually going to have here. Probably, I'm going to guess like ninth in the like ninth in the draft. Looks like we actually got seventh. says at the bottom of the screen. 
Uh, so yeah, let's go to the trade finder. Now it's possible we package Drew Holiday with somebody out there to maybe like try to like trade up in the draft. So let me try our first pick in the draft and Drew Holiday and see if we can actually trade up with that. Uh, it might not be possible. And yeah, looks like that's probably not. Ooh, ooh, second pick in the draft and TJ Warren. Yo, that's already the start of something fantastic because like Drew Holiday, we free up all the money with that. We free up $26 million. TJ Warren's on a very friendly contract, guys. This is the move. No doubt. In my mind, man, this is the move. Because, like, Zion or John Morant, I'll take either one of those guys. I'll be happy about that. Plus, TJ Warren, always a, a rebuild favorite for Crispy Flakes. All right, so let's do the Magic hit. They go with uh, Zion Williamson. Would have been nice to have him as our, like, replacement for Anthony Davis. But it's all good. It's all good. Um, Definitely go out there, go with John Morant, and that will be our building vibe. We have the star point guard or the future star point guard. Then we have Anthony Davis to now start build, or uh, Anthony Davis to trade away for some picks to put around him. So, yeah, John Morant right here. Definitely going with him. He's listed as a sharpshooter. 6'3", uh, 6'5", wingspan I saw. So, that's fantastic for me, man. I also think we had to get rid of our second pick in the draft. So, that is unfortunate. But at the same time, it's okay. All right. So, let's go rookie signing. This is the 82 overall, man. For only, it was. That's about uh, 8 $9 million a season, give or take. So, we got that. Team player options. Julius wants off the team. Uh, definitely going to bring back Julio for some one of the actually the most friendliest contracts in the NBA as of right now with the way he's been playing Frank Jackson uh, Kendrick Williams I think he was a, one of their draft picks maybe but I'm not going to use him in this video so that's fine okay so we now have qualifying offers it's going to be a hard no for me man it's going to be a hard no for me I'm sorry Trayvon blew it uh, yeah you blew this offer too. I'm just joking I'm going to try to bring him back check, check the aisle don't really need him at all but alright so free agency these are players we have available for us i'm sure there's even more we can go for once we like renounce uh rights and stuff like that so i can go for one of these big names i, I would need to free up a little bit of money to do so but uh at the same time because like I, like some of these free agents i might actually want to like try to trade anthony davis for so let's see what we can get for him in a trade first actually i guess we got yeah each one more let's try to trade away that and also solomon hill if possible uh, second round pick, we'll do that trade right there. That sounds good. It's a one-year deal, so it's not like it's like, you know, a big time. It's not like they're like losing out on anything with that. And then Etwan Moore, a pretty good shooter for about $8-9 million. I'm sure that there will be some teams interested in that. Uh, yeah, just, I just want an ex I just want a draft pick. Okay, two first. I mean, that's a, that's a big ask. So, let me do that. I'll just do the second round pick. I'll be happy with that trade. Okay, so we'll do that. I don't want to take well other draft picks. That's not right of me. And let's go next to cap holds. Make sure we don't got any, like, exceptions or anything like that. Um... So, yeah, nothing too crazy with this. Jason Smith, get rid of that, dude. I don't care about a lot of these guys here. Uh, all right, now we got the bitch-ass loan screens to worry about. All right, so we got that going for us. Now let's go over here. I think we have enough for a max contract. Yes, we do. So we have Anthony we can still trade, and we can also, damn, do a max contract. Kemba Walker would be nice. Don't really need him at all, though. Tobias Harris, I always love his game. But, no, I want to go for one of the big-name players. So... Demarcus Cousins once on this team. Uh, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, I love. Jimmy Butler would add some culture. A guy like Kyrie Irving, because but if you have Kyrie out there, it's like, what do you do with John Morant, right? So I feel like a Clay Thompson or a Jimmy Butler is probably our best way to go as of right now. So I think I'm gonna toss both those guys an offer. Uh so yeah, let's do that. I also like Tobias Harris a lot, but you guys all know that. Uh yeah, yeah let's go with Yeah, Clay Thompson. Also, Kevin Durant. I'm going to throw him an offer and try to use, like, an opportunity to build around him. Just because, like, I don't typically get Kevin Durant in rebuilds a lot. But it would be nice to kind of redeem him out there and give him the chance to, you know, to, for us to build a team around him and lead that team. So, I'm going to give him a chance and do that. I'm going to throw him the offer. And as of right now, the only offer we have agreed to is Jimmy Butler. That's a nice start, man. This is definitely a locker room guy that is, uh, I want to say a locker room guy. Like, he's always, like, a, a positive guy for the, for the young people out there. But... He is going to push you to be the best player possible. So, um, we have both offers accepted from Clay and Kevin Durant to other teams. So, we were not going to get them either way. So, Jimmy Butler, definitely a good start for us. Now, who else would I like to go for? Uh, D'Lo, I always like him as shooting guard. I just, yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Can I afford both? Oh, I think I can afford both. No, I can't. Okay, guys, offer match anyway. So, I don't, I don't think I would be able to afford him anyway. Okay, we got Jimmy on the team. Uh, other players I can still afford. We're still looking at some pretty decent offers out there. We can still actually get Chris Middleton, which is a great start for this too. So let's throw Middleton an offer. Uh, I'll go about the $20 million. I think I'd be good with that. Power forward position, Miritich. He was on the team. 
got traded so i don't really see him coming back bobby porter's i always like his scoring abilities so pretty cheap player to have right there um and then for centers we got ennis Cantor for a pretty cheap price actually 16 million dollars he's always a solid rebounder solid inside scorer so okay, let's get rid of these trade exceptions and it's back to the trailblazers middleton to the pacers all right well screw you guys then <laughs> all right what else we got man we got derrick rose uh how would i fit derrick rose into this team probably would not be able to we also still have tj warren too so we got to keep that in mind uh willie coley sign 81 overall player i think i'm gonna throw him the offer there's somebody we can we can work on so can i afford both i cannot who would i rather have 10 million dollars for bobby portis or willie coley stein we already already uh have jaleel okafor on the team so i'm gonna go with bobby and derrick rose is still just like looking we can no longer get him uh jeremy lamb brings some nice scoring off the bench for us so we'll throw him the offer or maybe even start i guess nice going back to the hornets i don't want jj reddick i always get jj reddick so i'm gonna pass on him uh terrence ross just in case we need a starting shooting guard of sorts uh mellow only asking for about 10 million dollars so oh that's not bad for a for a backup player we also got paul gasol on a pretty cheap contract one year deal uh javel mcgee throw both those guys offers so three years 22 million i'm okay with that and we're still waiting on terrence ross i guess here come on come on terrence come on terrence oh my god man okay we got terrence ross all right i'm good to go with free agency for the most part nothing else too crazy going on with this i think i'm going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season and we are going to start looking at trades for uh, anthony davis so this is what the team is looking like as of right now i think the saddest part about this situation is that if anthony davis like still bought into this team this is not a bad crowd to have around him having the top point guard prospect jimmy baller tj warren solid uh inside outside score bobby portis for some spacing like it's not a bad situation but we all know he is going to be off the team so we are going to be trading him away now so i'm gonna do anthony davis um see what type of offers we get for him straight up we only got two offers so we got devin booker which is actually not too bad for us man that is oh man do, 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 when you see him going to the phoenix suns though that's the thing i would not see that happening or cambridge al horford um, I think I'm going to try to do my own manual trade. So I know 2K is kind of like crazy when it comes to those. And it's going to take forever to actually get one to go. So for the sake of this video not being a billion hours long, I'm going to try to negotiate my own trade. And then once I come up with one, I will show it to you guys. Okay, so here is my first trade offer proposed. Anthony Davis, some fillers for Jason Tatum, Terry Rozier, Marcus Smart. Gives us a nice guy, Marcus Smart off the bench. Uh, Terry Rozier, I need a backup point guard as of right now. And then Jason Tatum is supposed to be a next level player. So let's see if they accept this deal. And declines to waive his no trade clause. Well, that is not great. I'll get back to you guys. Okay, new trade offer right here. Anthony Davis, same guys out there. Just some first round picks also. We're going to toss in Cam Reddish for the Boston Celtics. Uh, normally, I would not do the draft picks, but it is 2K. So they probably would not accept it otherwise. Let's have to do this trade. And they do not. Okay, so I went through a billion different trade offers, and it was nearly impossible to find any at all that would even work inside the game. So, the Los Angeles Lakers are agreeing to send me Klay Thompson and Brandon Ingram in exchange for Anthony Davis and Javale McGee. I tried to do the original trade that was, you know, agreed upon in real life, but all right, not really agreed upon, but considered in real life. So, we are going to do this trade right here, get Klay Thompson and Brandon Ingram. Now, Ingram, I'm probably going to flip for a center because I just don't really have room for him on the team right here. So yeah now we have brand ingram um clay thompson jimmy butler of course so let's go to trade finder and do a trade of ingram try to get some sort of center i'm gonna toss in a future first round draft pick man it's so hard to negotiate trades in this game so that's why i always do trade finder um here we get wendell carter jr that's definitely not a bad start but i would like to get more of a veteran if possible josh richardson and bam Adebayo, uh kevin knox lonzo ball right there cares the oh i like this trade a lot here guys that is a nice trade I absolutely love that trade, man. That's a nice one. We got Jamal Murray, uh, Miles Turner, DeMontis Sabonis. Okay. It actually kind of gives us, like, our entire front corner of the future. Um, all right. So, ooh, we also got Nurkic. Nice little switcheroo right there. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Nurkic trade, guys. And the reason I'm going to do this is because not only is it a friendly contract, um, but I feel like it's also a bit of a realistic trade because some of these trades down there just would, would never happen at all. So, um, I mean, there, there, there's some where you can, like, argue about it. But this one right here, I think, would definitely be a possibility because Ingram getting a chance to team up with CJ and also uh, Damian Lillard. And not to mention, he also got, like, Zach Collins and a few other big guys over on the uh, Portland Trailblazers. So, we're going to do this trade. Plus, they got Ennis Cantor, so it would make sense they would unload Nurkic. So, yeah, it's a very friendly contract. I think it makes uh, sense from all points of view. 
So what we'll do next is we are going to put Jimmy Butler as a small forward. So he goes to 89 overall. Uh, and we're going to go with John Morant, Clay, Jimmy, Bobby Porters, and Nurkic. Definitely a great starting five bench. You know, we got TJ Warren, Terrence Ross, Jaleel Okafor. Uh, I do need to trade for a backup point guard. I currently do not have a very good one. So we're going to do we're gonna do that real quick here. Uh, let's do a trade of, I mean, like Jordan Crawl for Luke Babbitt in a future second. Maybe that will get us something, I guess. Trying to look for like a 76 overall point guard, some along those lines. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think we definitely did a good job of building like a nice culture for the team out here. So, come on, come on, come on, 2K. Give me something good, man. Give me something good, man. Come on, Hernan Gomez. You're not a point guard. I wish you were, but you're not. I saw Kenneth Freed. I actually like him a lot. Jones Drepko. Uh, oh, there we go. Quinn Cook. Last second man came in for the save. So, we'll do that. We also get Tyler Zeller, uh, who will probably actually be a lot backup, like a third string center on this team. But yeah, starting five is great. Nice mix of young players, but also some nice locker room guys out there. And yeah, let's take away Tyler Zeller's minutes right here. Give a few more to Quinn in about 15 minutes a game. Uh, John Moron, I mean, he, come on, he's going to be rookie of the year over Zion, right, guys? Maybe, probably not. And we want Clay Thompson playing a lot. Same with Jimmy Butler. So this team as constructed, I don't know if they're a quite championship team this season. I think John Moron needs a season under his belt. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and simulate this second season. And see if we can get to the playoffs and uh, see what we can do from there. So a record of 60 and 21. That is after, what, we had 32 wins in the first season. So we almost doubled our win total right here, guys. Um, Just, you know, getting some new teammates out there, getting guys out there that actually want to play together. It goes a long way. I don't, I don't know if it would be a 60 win team right away, but we have, we have a nice uh, squad that we assembled. So James Harden, MVP, Zion Williamson. Come on, man. Should have been John Moron, guys. Come on, man. Should have been John. For a second, I was considering trading Anthony Davis for, like, Rudy Gobert and uh, also, like, Ricky Rubio. And I knew that the comment section would have just completely destroyed me if I would have done that. So, I did not do that. But All-NBA first, All-NBA second, All-NBA third with no Pelicans make, making that. Uh, Anthony Davis on the Lakers, uh, all, on the All-NBA third team, at least for him. And then All-Rookie team, of course, Ja going to make that because the Beast. Okay, so we are the uh, second seed in the Western Conference. I think we can definitely win a championship with that mindset or that seeding, I should say. But player stats on the season. Uh, yo, I like this. Man. I love me some team basketball. I don't like all these this, the, uh, bitch ass James Harden offense out there, man. The hero ball. I like guys that all do their part. And this is exactly how the team was constructed. Jimmy at 18 points, five rebounds, five assists. Ja at 17 and eight. Nurkic 16 and 12. We got 15 and 3 and 4 for uh, Clay Thompson. Benching was fantastic. Bobby Porter did great as the stretch for this team. And yeah, man, I, I love. I just love the entire roster right here. So, first round, Memphis Grizzlies. Simulate current round. See how this goes for us. Hopefully, we can win it this season, man. And you know, just be happy about that. Meanwhile, the Lakers are the sixth seed. Off, by the way, with Anthony Davis and also, um, you know, LeBron on the same team. But we do have them in the. <laughs> Oh, man, we're in the second round. Let's get it, baby. Let's get him, man. Oh, Mike Conley, 38 points. Damn, I know another trade offer I was offered to Mike Conley and Jaron Jackson Jr. was not a bad little look, but wasn't for me. Simulate game one. Okay, we got that. Simulate game. Okay, a 1-1 series. Okay, oh, okay, we got ball game out here. I like it. Oh, uh-oh. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. We looking good. Give me that 3-2. Okay, we good. Simulate with Simcast. See what we got here, man. All right. Oh, it's not good. It's going to go to a game seven. Okay, we bring it back, man. Bring it back. Bring it back. Here we go. We got this. We got this. 102-94, we beat them. John Morant, the rookie hero at 20 and 6. Anthony Davis, 22 and 10 for him. They also got uh, Al Jefferson on that team for whatever reason. Next up, we do have the Golden State Warriors. Let's simulate current round right here. And we got Toronto, Atlanta on the other side of things. So, simulate current round. See how this goes. And game one. Come on. Give me that game. No, man. Come on, man. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two. We're in the NBA Finals. Let's get it, man. Yo, we built a ball club out here, baby. <laughs> All right. Let's get serious. Let's get as serious as Kawhi Leonard in any situation in his life. Simulate current round against the Raptors. And looking good, looking at 2-1. Son of a bitch, I'm so fucking sick of you, Kawhi. Why, Kawhi, are you always bullshitting me like this, man? The Raptors are not the day. Oh, my God. It's so frustrating. Every damn time I get, I beat the bitch ass Lakers and the Warriors. And now you're making me yell when the damn cops called on me. Um, I, I feel lightheaded. I feel lightheaded. I feel lightheaded. Okay, we're okay, man. Yo, we got the dunk contest starting pretty soon here, man. I'm posting a video during the dunk contest, by the way, which is probably not a great 
idea but i don't care uh by the way i will i will be reacting to the dunk contest skills competition and three-point competition over on my second channel extra crispy uh let's do one more quick season here see what it's all about it's gonna be a quick off season uh just because like our team is assembled man like avengers assembled it's fine out there so let's go to straight to the rookie signings we'll do that i don't think we got any draft picks at all did we um yeah we had the 27th pick jalen smith sounds fine to me team player options nothing going on with that uh, free agency because Quinn Cook I would like to get another another backup point guard I'd say I think that's definitely the move here uh, oh. Yo, the man, don't, don't, don't leave the Lakers don't do it AD <laughs> don't you know what Reggie you know what I know I hate on you a lot but I'm gonna allow him to come be you know what man I'm, I'm gonna be mature this video I'm gonna allow you to come be the six-man point guard of my team that is what I'm going to do. And I just want to get you a little over bad because I love them, guys. I, I love that he's doing well out there. So, Reggie, Jaleel, both on the team, hopefully. Let's see if the moratorium is friendly to us. And what do we got up here, man? Cap room, negative 15. Cap hold 14. See, I don't know, man. I got my players. I got all my players that I wanted. Uh, Tail dosage. I don't want you at all. DJ Augustine, I'll take you too, man. Okay. So, that looks fine. We got DJ on the team. Uh, everything's good to go. I don't really have anything else too much more to do. So, I think what I'm going to do, guys, uh, you guys see the roster. You guys know what the lineup's going to be. I'm going to do a jump cut, and I'm just going to simulate to the end of the regular season. Okay, so a record is 61-20. I was expecting to be around the same uh, win mark here. One more game against the Lakers. I would say there's probably a little bit of a rivalry going on right here now, too, man, just because... Anthony, uh, Anthony Edwards. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man, I don't think that's a real person. I think I, <laughs> I, think I did the... Uh, automated draft class because i'm not doing another actual thing here no no i didn't no i didn't okay we're all good man i don't know what's going on with me right now guys um we are the first seed in the western conference against the utah jazz let's go to the player stats real quick here so you guys can see how the team all performed i did make some executive choices like i did actually put uh, tj warren as the new starting for this team using bobby portis off the bench at the four spot so i thought that was a pretty decent choice um Terrence Ross went the small four. Reggie Jackson actually went to backup shooting guard because we actually did get Quinn Cook back on the team. So, you know, I wanted Reggie to still play out there. He's still 80 overall uh, at the shooting guard position. So that was pretty nice for us out there, man. But, yeah, love the team still. Here we go. Let's see how this goes for us. Uh, first round against the Utah Jazz. Simulate current round. Come on, 2K. Give me this championship. I know it's a video game, but just seeing, seeing a win in a video game at least as a Piston fan has gotten me over the years to cope. Like, when I win a championship with my favorite team, it's like, all right. At least it can happen in the fantasy world, which even that's freaking tough to do with the Pistons sometime on this game. But still, they got past. Oh, they beat the first seed Orlando. I don't care about the damn Pelicans. Look at that, guys. How's Orlando the number one seed, by the way? You know, let me peep out this team real quick here. What's up with that? They, oh, they got Zion. Okay, well, there you go, man. Zion instantly makes you the best team in the game. Um, and they got Markel Fultz, which would actually be a really kind of like cool connection to see. But we did beat the Lakers, so here's the closeout game for that. Everything's still looking pretty good. And they got to keep Lonzo and Kuzma, so I'm sure they're happy about that. But we beat them two times in a row, so who got the last laugh? And uh, come on, man, let's get past Houston. Houston, we got a problem. It's Crispy Flakes. Come on, man, 3-2, three, 3-3, three, three, four games to three. And now we have the uh, notorious, infamous Atlanta Hawks simulate current round here. Looking good for us, man, 2-1, 3-1. And four games to one, guys. We just won the NBA championship. John Morant is the secret to your guys' future success. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Enjoy All-Star Weekend. And peace out, my friends.